Hi, my name is Fabiola and I want to talk to you about gender and what it has to do with migration. Around the globe, more people are on the move than ever before, and half of them are women and girls. So why should we talk about that? Well, when we put our gender lenses on, we'll see different stories when looking at men, women, girls and boys. Gender influences every part of a migration journey. How is that so? A young woman who is not allowed or encouraged to aim for quality job or education might look abroad to find them. Or she leaves to escape family pressure or gender typical roles in society. Yet today, many women and girls don't have access to information on the risk and realities of migration. Irregular migration can be dangerous for anyone, but the stakes are higher for undocumented migrant women. They may have fewer options to pay for services of smugglers and get more often trapped in sexual abuse, exploitation and human trafficking. If she makes it to her destination, she'll make less money than a man, yet she'll still send a larger portion of her earnings back home to her family. By sending a small amount more often, she ends up paying higher transfer costs. But they're not only hardship on her journey. Money is not the only thing she sends home. Being exposed to different culture and experiences, she's contributing to a culture shift within her community, paving the way for young girls to do more. And that's why it is important that we support her through every step of her journey. Here's what you can do to increase gender equality where you are. One, advocate for equal rights under the law in employment and mobility. Two, combat discrimination in all aspects of daily life. Three, learn about all the ways that gender affects migration. To continue learning, visit the link below. Compass, guiding safe migration.